Brewers and lab nerds, today we're going to show you how to make a methylene blue stain. If you ever want to count yeast, this is going to be one of the important things so that you can determine what amount of yeast are alive and how many are dead. So uh, to create the solution, we're going to go ahead and need um, denatured alcohol. You're going to also need distilled water. Just bought that from the grocery store. The denatured alcohol was from a uh, hardware store. And then also some caustic soda. If you don't buy it on the internet like this, you can get it as um, a, a pipe opener. So anyway, it's also known as KOH. What I did to start it out was to take half a gram of the uh, caustic soda and add to 50 grams of water to create a 1% solution of KOH and just added that to this bottle here just so this will go a little bit quicker okay so to make methylene blue uh, solution there's many different ways of doing it but to create one that's uh, stable shelf stable what you can do is go ahead and add 100 milliliters of water to half a gram of methylene blue powder 30 milliliters of denature alcohol and one milliliter of the 1% KOH solution. So I'm going to start with the methylene blue. I have a very accurate scale here. Uh, this one is called Smart Scale. It is GEM50 is this model. Go ahead and zero that one out. I'll just take some aluminum foil, put it on there, there you go, and press tear. Now this methylene blue, it really stains, so be careful. So again, we need half a gram. Let's go, come on. A little too much. All right, we'll call that good enough. It's not critical that it's exactly half a gram, but you do want an accurate scale. So you just find any container that you're gonna keep it in, and then put it in the funnel. Okay, so we're done with that scale. Then we'll add 100 milliliters of distilled water. So 100 milliliters weighs 100 grams. So we'll just go ahead and add until we see 100 grams. So the reason I added the powder first is so that I can clean up my funnel. There you go. Getting close. See here. There we go. 100 grams. Then, as far as the KOH, we only need one milliliter. So you could add one gram because it's in water, so it's pretty much one gram. Uh, to make it a little more accurate, let's just show off some other tricks. You can go ahead and suck it up also with a pipette. So I have a pipette pump and a one milliliter uh, pipette. This is caustic, so be careful. It's just one percent, but still. Um, gloves and goggles probably would be a great idea. There you go, we'll suck it up. See it's coming up here, a little bit above because it has a tendency to sink as I lift it up. There he goes, 
keeps a one milliliter. Add that to it. There you go. Just push everything out. Last is 30 milliliters of the alcohol. The trick here is to pour from the top. First we need to start it, of course, it timed out. That was close. Zero grams. And we want about 30 grams. Actually, I don't know if what this weighs. Why don't we add it into this graduated glass here? Just to be on the safe side. Water weighs a gram per milliliter, but I don't know about uh, denatured alcohol. There we go, 30 milliliters. It's maybe a 32, but that's okay. There you go, it only weighs 25 grams. So I'll note that for next time. And that is essentially it. Now I have the solution that you can later on use for staining your yeast. Okay, on to the next. Cheers.